the first televised court hearing in the Georgia election interference case involving former President Donald Trump was held today. There were two items on the agenda. First, requests from two co-defendants, Kenneth Chesbro and then Sidney Powell, to separate their cases from the others. The second ask, an estimate from the DA's office in terms of how long a trial could take. All 19 people, including the former president, pleaded not guilty and waived their arraignments. That means they don't have to appear in court, which would have happened today. NBC News Justice and Intelligence Correspondent Ken Delaney joins us now in studio. Ken, good to see you. So let's start with Chesbro and Powell. What were their arguments from their attorneys to separate the cases, and what's the judge saying about it? Great to be with you guys. Um, the judge didn't have much sympathy for their arguments, but both of their lawyers were arguing that they are removed, distant from a lot of the conduct alleged in this sprawling racketeering indictment. That, of course, is the nature of racketeering indictments. The, the theory of the case is that even though these people, not every one of them participated in all the allegations, they're all responsible for it because it was a conspiracy. Their lawyers tried to argue that, no, they should be severed from the other defendants because they weren't really linked. The judge ultimately didn't buy it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.